Butch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Smog Smuggler. As our scene opens, we find Clutch and Spinner recording another chapter of adventures in Clutch's adventure logbook. A mysterious hand knocks at their door. I'll get it, Spinner. What? Why, uh, it's... It's... Uh, Hi, Clutch Boy. Am I glad to find you home? We were afraid you'd be off on another lion hunt or something. Well, sure, uh, gentlemen, but, uh... I'm afraid I don't recognize you. Your voice is familiar, sir, but your faces are strange. That's because they're so dirty. Oops. <clears throat> I'm your old friend, Mayor Smiley, from Sunnydale. And I'm your other old friend, Marshal Dilly, also from Sunnydale. Where the sun shines the brightest and the breezes blow the purest. Where the grass is the greenest and the trees are the shadiest. Where the... Why, of course. Now I recognize you. But why the spudgy makeup? Why, everybody in Sunnydale looks like this. Ever since the big sky monster dropped zoot upon us. It's made of valley of zoot suitors out of us all. <coughs> this is serious. But what's causing all the trouble? It's a big mystery, Clutch. That's why we came to you. The mayor's car is right outside. We'll take you to Sunnydale and show you. <laughs> we can't understand it. Sunnydale is 65 miles from your big, smoky city. Yet we are plagued by a giant, smudgy zoot cloud. Well, we're part way, and the air here is nice and clear. It sure is, Spinner. It's hard to understand. Yes, the smudge cloud doesn't show until we reach the valley of Sunnydale. Do you have any clues as to what's causing it? Well, no, unless maybe it could be the cigar fish. Cigar fish? Yes, the sky monster. It looks like a big oblong flying saucer fish. <coughs> it's been showing up about this time every day. Just one big shadowy blob fish through the smog. Then the smog gets thicker and the big shadowy flying smudge goes away. Hmm. This is getting more mysterious by the minute. We're now entering the beautiful valley of Sunnydale, the land of eternal springtime. Too bad you can't see it. Oh, I see what you mean. Golly, it never used to be like this. <laughs> if you think this is bad, wait until it thickens. When the smudgy cigar fish arrives, you'll see. hurts my eyes so I can't see now. Hey, listen. What's that? That's it. That's it. The small fish is back. <laughs> Run for your lives, everybody. <laughs> Tell me the word. The small fish is back. What kind of sky fish is this and why is it here? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Smog Smuggler. You remember last time Mayor Smiley and Marshal Dilly picked up Clutch and Company and drove them to Sunnydale, a beautiful sunshine city that has been overrun by thick black smog. Shortly after they arrived in Sunnydale, Fish is back! Run for your lives, everybody! The smog fish is back! It's a flying object, all right. But I can't make it out through the haze. A smudgy saucer from outer space. It's bombarding us with smog again. Fire! It's flying away into those clouds. It'll be back. It always does. I'd like to take a closer look at that thing. Got anything around here that'll get me up there? We ain't even got an airport. Well, now, wait a minute, Mayor. How about old Doc Icky's balloon out in Smith's barn? Balloon? Say, that's right. The one he tried to break the altitude record with. Sounds like just the ticket. Let's have a look at it. 
There's Smith's barn. If we hurry, we can get up there before that thing comes back. There she is, just like Professor Icky left her. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Oh, it worked pretty good for Professor Icky. Hey, Professor Icky's still in there. <coughs> Professor Icky, is that you in there? <coughs> We'd like to borrow your balloon, sir. <coughs> Professor Icky, it was a little bitty old owl. Come on, let's get this thing outside. All set, Clutch? Yep, get ready to cast off. The sooner we get up there, the better. We'll keep the line taut, Clutch. All set, let her go. Okay, Clutch and Spinner, good luck and be careful. <laughs> Hold it right there. They're at the edge of the smog belt now. Hey, Clutch! I think I hear something coming. Oh, it, it's the flying saucer smog fish. It's coming this way. I, I can't get a good look at the thing. If we were only closer. The thing is going to be above them. Strike off some more lines. Oh, my gosh. Help, Meyer. The line broke. Uh, we're moving again. They must have given us more line. This is terrible. They'll drift away. I can see now real good, Clutch. But what is it? Why, it, it's an old surplus dirigible. I haven't seen one of those for years. Dear, dirigible? What? Look! It's dumping smog right out of its tummy. So that's where it's all coming from. Hey, Clutch, the line broke. We're drifting higher and higher, and it's getting colder. Clutch, what are we going to do? Help! Help! Save us, somebody! Will Clutch and company ever be able to stop that runaway balloon? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Smog Smuggler. You remember last time the mysterious smog fish arrived over Sunnydale. In an effort to see it better, Clutch and Company started after it in an old balloon. Thinking that Clutch and Company would want a closer look, the mayor and the marshal let out more cable. Suddenly, as the balloon started to rise... The line broke! Dirigible's flying away. We're drifting higher and higher. Steady, Spinner. Hey, what you doing? Hang on tight, Spinner. One, two, three. Oh, my gosh, Clutch. What did you do? I spilled a gas out of the balloon, out of the side, just like the carnival stuntman did in the old days. Whee, this is fun. We're getting back to Earth again. It's working fine. Makes a perfect parachute if you know the trick. But we still have the smog belt to get through. Take a good deep breath of fresh air. Here we go. Ah, back to Earth again. And there's the mayor and marshal of Sunnydale waiting for us. But look, Clutch, they're wearing gas masks. Thank goodness you're back. We were afraid that monster gobbled you up for sure. That bear cigar face really hit us this time. We had to put on these gas masks. Did you get a good look at him? What was it? Nothing mysterious about that flying object. It's an ancient surplus dirigible. And it dumps all that smog and zoot right out of its tummy. Hmm, never heard of such a thing. What are you going to do about it, Cuts? Somebody's being awfully sneaky about getting rid of their smog. We aim to find out who it is. Mayor, we'll need your car to get back to the big city. We'll get an airplane and be right back. Come on, Spinner. Hey, Clutch, I've been thinking. What makes that dear 
watchable fly, anyway. It's a framework of steel covered with fabric and filled with big helium tanks. Helium's lighter than air and causes the dirigible to rise. There are motors on the side that propel it and the compartment underneath for the crew. Well, somebody's got their nerve loading that thing with sooty smog and dumping it on a nice little town like Sunnydale. All right. We'll pick up the plane at Joe's hangar and hightail it back before more damage is done. Having picked up the plane, Clutch and Spinner return to Sunnydale. I'll set her right down in front of Smith's barn. You timed it just right. It's due back any minute now on its regular smog dumping run. When they get back, we're ready for him this time. Hey, Pat will hear something. It's it. It's it. Here it comes. Quick, Spinner. Back to the plane. We'll try to intercept it before it dumps more smog. Late. It's dumping smog again. The windows are so dirty, I can't see the pilot. We'll land on top of him. Hang on to your hats. Keep your feet on the brake spinner. I'll take a look at that trap door. Hey! We're killing! Help, Clutch! We're spinning! and company in a dangerous spin. How will they straighten out? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Smog Smuggler. You remember last time, Clutch and company floated to Earth in the balloon gondola after Clutch had spilled out some of the balloon gas. They then rented a plane and again started after the so-called smog fish. This time, landing on top of it. Suddenly... Hey, we're tilting! Help, we're spinning! What do we do? Push the opposite rudder to the way we're spinning. Oh, okay, Clutch. Count three and pop the stick all the way to the firewall. One, two... Now, neutralize your rudder. Ease your stick back and we'll recover from this dive. We did it, Clutch! We did it! Good work, Spinner. Now, hold her steady while I climb back in. Too bad the dirigible got away. We'll go back down and report to the mayor. Phew. Clutch, that was a close one. He bucked you off. We saw the whole thing, Clutch. Too bad it got away. I got a good look at it this time. And I've got a better plan. If I knew just a little sooner when it's coming. Say, I got an idea. We got a walkie-talkie in the trunk of the car. We'll send Marshal Dilly up on the ridge to keep a sharp lookout. You can count on me. The minute I see that dad blame thing coming, I'll yell like a banshee. Good. While he's on his way, I want to install some special rigs on my plane. Mayor here, Marshal. You're coming through loud and clear. See anything? Roger. Welcome, Mayor. I don't see anything, but wait, I think I hear something. Yes, yes. Now I can see it. It's coming back. Hurry, Clutch. Hurry. The Marshal has sighted it. Quick, Paddlefoot. Into the plane. He says it's heading in due east. Hurry. All clear. Contact. pilots did with the famous airship Macon.
does it. Take over the control spinner. I'm going to climb up into the gondola. Be, be careful, Clutch. Hang on tight. Hold it, mister. You've dumped your last load of smog. Uh, oh, what? Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, who are you? I'm Clutch Cargo. Now tell me who you are and where you come from. Why, I'm Ephraim Smog. Of Smog, Smog, Schmidt, and Smog Unlimited. We make zoot. Huh. You mean you make zoot just to dump it on defenseless little valleys like Sunnydale? Oh, no, sir. We have the finest zoot factory in the world. We dump only the leftovers. Well, why do you have to dump it here? Why, we got to dump it somewhere. Well, you're going down and do some explaining to the authorities. I'm awfully busy, mister. I guess you better go down. Through a trap door in the bottom of the dirigible. Can Clutch be saved? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Smog Smuggler. You remember last time, Clutch and company recovered from the spin when the plane slipped off the top of the dirigible. They landed and installed a special control so they could hook onto the dirigible. Clutch climbed aboard the gondola and was talking to the pilot when... You're going down and do some explaining. I'm awfully busy, mister. I suggest you go down. We gotta save him! Hang on, Paddlefoot! We gotta unhook! Get ready to grab him, Paddlefoot! Oh, boy, we did it! Oh, thanks a lot, fellas. That was great flying. I thought you were a goner for sure. I would have been if you and Paddlefoot hadn't done some quick thinking. What are we going to do? We're going to hook us a giant skyfish spinner. How, oh, Clutch? I installed a special rig just for that purpose. Release that lever on your right. I got it. Now, take a look below. Golly, a hawk. That's pretty clever, Clutch. But how are you going to pull that great big dirigible down with this little plane? I've got several thousand feet of line on that hook spinner. And as soon as we snag it, I'll show you what I have in mind. There it is, just ahead. All right, he thinks he's rid of me. We'll go in from above and take him by surprise. Okay, spinner, let out a little more line. That's about right. That did it, spinner. Now we'll take the line down below. The trick is to get downstairs before Ephraim Smog catches on. behind us and tie it under the well windlass. Got you, Clutch. Hurry! The dirigible is tightening the slack. Come on, Spinner. Don't worry. We got them hooked good. Keep cranking. Marshal, we landed the smog fish. I saw the whole action from the ridge. He sure put up a fight, Mr. Cargo. First thing, I suggest we give this character a bath and see what he really looks like. Oh, no, no, not a bath. I hate baths. I'm allergic to baths. And wash out his ears. Oh, no, not the ears. Come on. And peace has been restored to Sunnydale. Thanks to you, Clutch and Spinner and Paddlefoot. It gives me great pleasure to present you with the key to our fine city. 
It's still a little dirty, but uh, <laughs> a little polish will make it as shiny as uh, um, <laughs> Sunnydale. <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Smog Smuggler. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo.